hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how i bleached my hair blonde so i already went in and put some vaseline or if you have baby oil you just outline put it around the lining or the outline of your head i don't even know why they do it <laughs> i see them do it in the videos i guess to protect your skin so it doesn't bleach the hair or I don't know anyway I'll be using this as the powder and this for the cream so I already went ahead and I mixed it to this consistency so it's kind of like yogurt and guys I do not have a mixing bowl or an applicator brush so i use what i have okay you have to improvise so based on a few videos that i watched a lady said that it is best to just rub everything all over in your hair and then you leave it for 20 minutes and then rinse it or 30 minutes and then rinse it and then go again instead of putting the cap on it and i think i would prefer that method because it's always burning me so I prefer the short term method. So let's see how it turns out. I also have my purple shampoo here that I'll be using to get the desired look. All right, so stay tuned. And they always say start from the back because the front process is really fast. So I'm just gonna try to move as fast as I can before it starts burning. out and as soon as I got up my baby was just laughing at me <laughs> so he thinks that I look funny all right we're gonna fix it so I just used regular shampoo this is the shampoo that I used and I am gonna just lightly add some Vaseline all over my hair instead of using conditioner I'm just gonna do that instead and then add the rest of the mixture one more time leave it for 15 minutes and then see what it looks like so i just rubbed the vaseline all over my hair and i went back over my hairline but this time i came down a little bit to my face because as you can see there are still some dark spots and here are really lighter because i have less hair in these spots so i also put more of the vaseline there so that the dye can penetrate it slower So in five minutes, I am going to rinse it and then put the purple shampoo, show you guys what it's looking like and then I put the purple shampoo and show you the final look. This is what it is looking like for now. I'm going to go ahead and add the purple shampoo and see what we're left with. As you can see, these areas are still dark, but that's okay. I read somewhere it says that you shouldn't leave it the purple shampoo for long because it can leave your hair looking purple so let's see so guys this is what it is looking like the lighting is not doing it any justice but i do like the shade that i'm getting from it so i'm happy with that i will go ahead and style it and show you guys what it's looking like but one thing i actually like about bleaching my hair is that it brings out 
the natural curl you know the natural kink and I always like that about my bleached hair so it's just left to basically style it I didn't want to go too white and I didn't want it to be too yellow either so I believe that this is the perfect shade for now let me know if you like the previous shade or you're feeling this one guys I didn't get to close out the video properly but this is what it is looking like let me know what you think in the comment section down below guys this is me post workout I started working out at home and this is the aftermath so if you guys are interested in seeing the workout that I do let me know in the comment section down below but it's very effective I already lost at least five inches from my waist my clothes can't fit on my waist and I'm happy with that because as I've been saying I need to look trim in my waist area for graduation so I'm at it and I'm gonna keep up bye so guys in the last video a lot of you suggested that I should get some stuff for myself and don't finish the money on baby so what I did was I was planning to get the baby some stuff anyway so i used the gift card to purchase some stuff for him since i already saw them and they were in store you know easier to return so i purchased those stuff and then i used the money that i would have used to purchase stuff for him to get some stuff for myself so instead of buying those in store i decided to go on sheen because the issue is that it's just a reality i can't find anything here in stores that i like so I always try to buy online and to be honest Shein is affordable so I was like you know what let me just get a few stuff so I'm gonna show you what I got I'm not gonna show you everything because I know that most of you are probably not interested in seeing a haul or in seeing me try on stuff so I'm just gonna quickly run through probably take out a few out of the bags and show you I don't know let's see and you can always let me know if you like them or if you don't like them or whatever your comment is it's always welcome so these are the stuff some of them are still on the way i decided that i'm gonna spend some money on some clothes because honestly i as i've been saying i really don't have any clothes especially tops and sometimes when i need to go places i'm scrambling to find stuff so i'm like girl you need to get some clothes so I decided to buy mainly tops because I had purchased some pants some jeans pants and I didn't have any tops to go with them but this is just a little swimsuit that I got like I'm trying to stock up my swimsuit collection I purchased a few swimsuit but I sent them back to Jamaica because I didn't know when I would when I was gonna use them to be honest the weather just discouraged me so I just sent back stuff to Jamaica but i am buying more because i need to take a vacation soon and i don't like to purchase stuff at the last moment and if and when i take that vacation you will see the swimsuit but i'm just gonna pull out the tops quickly and show you guys i purchased this skirt here that i really like i just like the fact that it's straight and then the flare in the tail and i think it's fleece i don't know what this material is called and it can't fit like, I thought I was size large in sheen clothes, but apparently I'm extra large because this cannot fit me. Can you imagine? I probably need to try it again because I lost some weight. You know what? I'm going to try it again and see if I can fold myself in it or I definitely have to sell it because I can't send it back. It was on sale. Guys, I think I am really into green these days. Like, honestly, green. I was going through a white phase once upon a time but now i feel like i'm in my green phase it just gives elegant it gives chic it gives grown i am really liking green so i purchased this dress here it is really cute very cute and i love the way that it fits me i don't know if i'm gonna wear it like you know to a little probably a little brunch or a dinner or i'm gonna wear it to worship like I haven't made up my mind yet but I think it is really cute and these tops I just wanted something really cute like if I'm if I get called for work or you know on a weekend when I'm running errands or any little thing like if I'm just going for a drink anything so cute and it can serve a lot of purpose so it's not just 
like runge or you know I, I just wanted something that I can quickly pull on and let me just quickly tell you something about myself I do not like to iron so I always try to buy clothes that I can just quickly pull on so I love this by the way and as I said green like I'm in a green phase I think this is large but I used to be size medium in sheen like when did I reach large and extra large because some of these are actually tight on me like what anyway this is the other top you know and I'm in this kind of crop top but not too crop you know like my pants can meet it and kind of off the shoulder just looking very sweet type thing like I'm into those <laughs> I'm into those type of clothes recently guys like I'm just going through a phase where listen see most of the tops look alike kind of off the shoulder type thing with elastic um, kind of crop so my pants can meet it yeah like this is the look that I'm looking for and I don't really like anything too revealing um, so it's kind of crap but it's still cute nothing is showing because my pants will meet it so it's definitely for worship that's a purpose for which I've purchased it but after trying it on I feel like it can go you know like I don't know like probably I want a drink or a coffee and I decide to just go in town to get it I feel like this can be worn but it was originally purchased for worship and I really like it again elastic and there is a split where's the split yeah there's a cute little split right here and another fun fact I do not wear clothes with split in the back I'm always scared that the split will go all the way up and reveal something so anyway you guys these are a few of the stuff that I purchased as I said some of them are on the way so that is it Shein side note you need to sign me because I've been promoting your stuff for free it's full time now that I get a contract Thank you. Trying to find back my sense of fashion. <laughs> Ever since I had baby, I think I kind of fell off. Matter of fact, ever since coming to Canada, because the way the winter does not encourage dressing up. The weather in general, because now it's spring, it's almost the end of May, and the place is still cold. So it really does not encourage dressing up. And then I don't know if it is me alone but ever since baby is like I don't know what to buy I don't feel confident dressing up I just wanna wear sweatpants and shirt go everywhere like I'm just not in the mood so sometimes I'm like girl you need to fix up yourself so maybe that's why I'm just changing my hairstyle to see if that will fix my confidence anyway can we talk about the skin my skin is getting better I don't know if you noticed in previous videos I was having a breakout and then it's kind of clearing I'm just using two ingredients but I'm not ready to talk about them yet until I get very very clear skin but it's getting there you know I still have little spots here but it's not as bad as previous videos anyway guys before i reach walmart let me just <laughs> let me just talk about the fact that the selfie exam drip up your girl <laughs> so me i finished um university with high high score right like score among the highest score you'll ever get and then I say, all right, then I'm gonna do my self exam because I never want to wait until I'm out of the studying mood. So I was like, okay, since I'm almost finished with school, let me book it around that time. So I booked the self exam now, and I was still, I still had some assignments completing. So I booked it three weeks before the actual exam, but I didn't get to study until the week before because I was busy completing assignments and stuff. So when it was approaching the final week, now I was trying to. You know quickly do the preparation and everything but I was scared because while I was preparing I was getting extremely low grades 
well not extremely low kind of too extra i was getting like seven and eight for the listening and i think eight or nine for the reading so like how do i know that's the score because I think it's marked out of 35 or something like that but you can check online and they kind of match it but that was discouraging me so I was like no man I don't have to feel this already so I wanted to change the date of the exam but that never worked I never got to pay 50 dollars to change the date <laughs> so I was like you know what let me go in there with faith if I get a grade I'm not pleased with I just do it over back but I tell them I never want to do it over back because this is my second time doing an English exam for Canada. The first time, the first exam I did was the IELTS exam and I feel like that also influenced my confidence because I went to the IELTS with confidence because that was the first time I'm doing an English exam, right? But the IELTS exam, it was, it was kind of nerve-wracking and I didn't get to finish the writing. Actually, I finished the writing but I was rewriting so I didn't get to finish what I was rewriting and so I got a, a, a low score on the writing right so i was like listen i'm gonna plan for the back over the exam here then now when my ear said that expire i forgot to do the cell pip i was so nervous and then to make it worse the practice was giving me low scores so all of them there and then for add injury to insult that's all uh, insult, insult to injury. injury whichever way it goes when i went into the exam i done my out the room and i said all right them one going to one corner when nobody not gonna disturb me you know so the man put me right at the front where everybody was going in and coming coming out so I never focus right there so but what make it worse is that while I was doing the exam so the first thing you do is the listening the reading the speaking the writing so everybody was pretty much on the same page for the listening and then all of a sudden while, while you're in the reading people reach a writing so all you are hearing are your ears while you are trying to focus on the reading is tap, 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 tap from the keyboard. So you can't focus. So when that happened now, time was running out. So all I was left to do was just select random answers and say, you know what, if I dirt, I dirt. Then when I came out of the exam, may I tell you, I said, I had work that day and I tell you, I could have focused. I said, I can't believe I'm going to spend much money for the exam here. And um, I tell them I'm a vent, like I couldn't wait to get the results. Four days later, I'm get the results. The results never 100, but it was enough for me to get enough points for express entry. So I'm not complaining when I forget 12, when I always have to master things, as long as we get, sometimes when we get enough, that can be enough, you know? So look out for those points. They will distract you in the exam. Nerve can ch um, chip in. But the good thing about the cell pip over the IELTS is that I feel like they mark easier for the cell pip. So even though I never go on so good in the exam, I feel like they, they, they are aware of the condition. So them say, no, well, I'm not mark hard because I feel like I perform better in the IELTS and I get better grade in the cell pip. I don't know. Anyway, I am at Walmart and I don't know if I'm going to close the vlog here. If I... Don't get to add anything to it then thank you for listening don't forget to like comment share and subscribe bye